welcome back to the channel now you'll understand why i am so excited because today is the day the embargo lifts and i can finally show you what this monster is all about i am going to be taking the amg gt black series out on track and this thing is incredible it's the closest thing that you'll get to a race car on the road i mean black series was always the code word for absolutely mental basically it's the top of the line it has got every bit of race dna that they can physically put and legally put into a road car. This thing is 730 brake, You've got traction control which you can turn all the way off by a dial in the middle of the car. It's a car which definitely inspires dreams. I mean, I would absolutely love to have one of these sat on my driveway. They are just ridiculous. So before we get out on track, I'm gonna show you a quick walk round of the car, some of the features and what makes this car so special. Road, Archie Hamilton. Yeah. Archie, you've been out on it. What do you think? I haven't been out yet. Very cool. Yeah? Yeah. Loved it. Why are you telling me a minute ago that you were doing like nearly 200 miles an hour down this straight? Uh, 100, 270, 280 kilometers. I don't know. I'm not very good at my old no, kilometers. I know. But yeah, it's about that. People will know. But it's, uh, you enjoy it. It's good. I'm really excited. It's, uh, it's an impressive track toy, that's so, for sure. So we have it in, is it the high beam silver? Oh, I've got no idea. <laughs> Uh, but it looks silver to me. It is silver. It's a very nice silver. No, I, I really enjoy this. But I think I prefer the magma beam, the orange one that I uh, was doing my little oh, exterior shots. Oh, I called that shots. per lesson, so I don't really know what I'm on about. Just just drive it, really. <laughs> <laughs> but looking around the car, it looks fairly serious. Like, I love this wing on it. It's mental. Yeah, it, looks, it looks taller than the GT3 RS wing. Uh, yeah, that's because it is. It's, oh, uh, it, is a lot, it is a lot... Um, it's a lot bigger, and definitely. You have manual and electric adjustment on this. Yeah. Which it, it, it creates a ridiculous no, amount of downforce, good. which for a car which you're going to be driving around, probably in your case, London, or whoever buys it, wherever yeah. they're living, that it's is crazy. It's a track toy. It it's not, a it's, toy, it's the same it? as like a GT3 race. It's not for the road. I love it's for the track. just all of the lines of this thing. It's just so aggressive. I was looking at one of the GT3 cars out yeah. there, and there is so much shared between the two. Yeah. I love the quad exhaust as well. Now I absolutely love the way this thing looks. It's got some crazy air vents around the front here. As you can see there's so much cooling for the engine and also see these wide uh, vents here which is for advanced cooling of the brakes and also to direct air away from the engine. There's just so much DNA as I said shared with the GT3 car big carbon ceramic brakes on there as well with the bucket seats the roll cage like everything that you could basically want from a car which is uh, essentially a road legal track car it just looks so good from the front end as well i prefer the bloody orange color the magma beam color with all the gloss black and the carbon um extras that you have everywhere i mean look at this front splitter love that and you've got the amg uh um, grill on there as well which is so distinctive to the brand it's actually the way it's positioned it's downturned at the edge to make it look more aggressive but to be honest i don't know how you can make this thing look more aggressive than it already is i love the way that you can see into the engine here as well none of these fake ducts on here everything is to be used and utilized to make sure that the engine stays nice and cool when it's at full chat but yeah the interior is as well it's slightly basic but in a sense that there's just everything that you need it's not too fussy it's such a focused car and as I say, the most powerful AMG version to ever hit the road. So for the listeners at home, I thought I'd grab the expert because if anybody's going to know how this car works and all of the, the good stuff and development that you put into it, including all the aero, because the aero is probably one of the things that makes this car so special that it yeah. is so advanced and on the road. It helps a lot for sure, yeah. Yeah, so as you know, we have two cars in one here, one street and one race car. 
and for sure for the aerodynamics the only way to, to reach those two ambitious targets is by active aerodynamics at the front and on the rear. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So for the, for the street point of view we have the old kind of certifications and um, also for the street legal car and we deployed, we, we came up on a, of an idea to deploy a frontal splitter that, beca that becomes to be a diffuser when you deploy it. And, and in that case, we reduce the, the um, we increase more downforce on the frontal axle for sure. After that, we um, we decrease uh, the drag because of this event effect that we produce. We improve the braking cooling, and in that case, we shift the balance of the car to the front, and we have the rear end of the wing with a wing that we can put the car in balance uh, based on the driver skills or driver situation that you're willing to drive to with. Uh, so. Basically, with these two active aerodynamics at the front and the rear, you can get the car in balance as you feel like is correct for mm -hmm. you. Yeah, the innovative way of to do it at the front, we have increased the compared to our GTR, we have increased the, the surface of the front diffuser by around 90% more surface. We we only have uh, three more extra kilos gain on the car, but we we get more than 200% more uh, downforce at the front of the axle. Mm -hmm. So everything is designed to just obviously take air away from the engine, air, air away from yep. the brakes, lots of cooling abilities, lots of downforce uh, yeah, right. to make the track experience just so much yeah. more intense. Yeah, for sure. As we keep the, the cooler, we also we are, we are also able to increase the mass flow that require increase of mass flow in the cooling system. And doing that, we also increase the downforce level of mm -hmm. the car mainly. Yeah. Of course, the interaction between, between all the systems and geometries that we have on the car that we get into the target on the frontal and the, on the rear axle. And the car stays in balance with a very, very low drag coefficient for 0 0.42. That is for such a car really a, a nice value. So talk to me about the rear wing because obviously this is a big selling point. I mean, for somebody who saw this thing coming down the road, it's entirely functional as well as it looks amazing. Oh, thanks for looking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the, um, the concept here was based, we, we need to have a profile here where you can see here a profile of the wing that is a, a low, low drag profile. Mm -hmm. With low low drag profile, we can we can get to have different angles of attack of the of the wing, and the interaction between the upper, the middle, and the lower wing, we can get with very low angle changes. We can get the amount of downforce that we are willing to to reach, and we have here mainly fully flexibility for the driver, as I said before, because here the driver can drive like after his her driver skills and also about regarding the weather if it's wet or not yeah of course you can change the how how, how uh, the feeling that you have on the rear even also. so this part is the electrically adjustable but you also have a manual adjustment on there as well and how just to show people at home how would you adjust that is it just simply an so allen <laughs> bit of an allen key in there somewhere yeah, if you come here from the side you see the the three different positions that we have here from the lower wing yes. oh, i love it yeah yes well, you rotate around this axle and you just change the angle of attack here and you have here here it's not not to be seen now but you have also three positions of oh, the oh. of the of the upper wing that means you have the all the combination of three position under wing and the three position of the upper wing so you have the the right amount of downforce for you on the racetrack the flap works independently of how the position of the wings are yeah because the far is uh, the the flap is controlled electrically we have uh, we have the flap if we go in race mode we have the the, the, the flap is deployed and to reach faster v max faster so mm -hmm. the engine power allows us for sure to get to v max but to get faster there you wish us make a rapid drag reduction system we we stow the flap and after uh, any driving conditions or braking maneuver, then the flap will very fast come into position to get the more, the more uh, pressure on the on the rear axle. If you had to pick one feature of this car, which is your favorite? It's the whole car as a whole, yeah. The, the car as a That's whole, cheating. Yes, yeah. That's yeah. everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, with the aerodynamics, we start one meter from the car and we end up three meters behind the car. So the the whole system interacts together and gives us the the actual results little yellow dial in the middle here and this is for the traction control right yeah right 
the traction control in combination with the different kind of aero that you are willing to drive that you will have fun as much as you want i know so i yeah. drive a rear wheel drive zero traction drift car so yes, for somebody yes. like me if you were into it you could just turn that all the way to zero right yeah and have yeah. some fun yes for for sure a lot of fun yeah don't worry not today <laughs> yeah, okay why not <laughs> okay let's have a little sit in before we get comfortable before we go out on track oh it's always best to get the people that know the most about the car to explain because i couldn't tell you everything on this car but he's been working on it for months and months so he's the best guy for the job i um, love this flat bottom steering wheel and honestly it just feels amazing to touch like everything is so tactile as i said before even in the e63s the thing that amg does the best is their interiors like everything is very focused here there's not a lot of things uh to get distracted by other than the yellow dial in the middle i feel like that's such such a messer's toy like the fact that you have that in this car basically means that someone can just get in and be like Do you know what i'm feeling raunchy today let's turn this all the way off love the red start stop button as well right then guys i guess there's nothing else for it than to get her out on track and have some fun i'm very excited right quick put my uh head sock on oh it's gonna wreck my makeup yep delightful oh jesus <laughs> well at least i'm gonna look sexy whilst i'm driving the amg black series i feel like i look like a penguin right then lads here we have it oh my god i can bear ah hope you can hear me speak just gonna have to shout at you so we are in right where's my feet there's my feet we are in race mode okay okay well oh, i'm gonna pull that down so you can actually <laughs> sexy right we are in the bloody orange magma beam gt black series i really want one of these cars well i want an amg gt right, so please follow me Following, let's just put her into drive. Off we go. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Look at the corner grip, like I'm squeezing on the power a little bit now, and it's right. We're going full face out. I look like an absolute sausage.
Well, guys and girls, that's my experience of the AMG GT Black Series. What an incredible car. I mean, honestly, I was almost tongue-tied when I was driving out there because I was concentrating. I had all of the handling, all of the grip, all of the brakes, just everything that you could possibly want for a track toy. If you're someone that can afford one of these cars, and all you'd have to do is just take it out and enjoy it because they're born to be driven. It's just so much fun uh, to be had with that car. I wish I could spend all day driving it, but uh, it's time for me to go home now. I'm definitely gonna get on the hunt for an AMG, AM, I keep saying AMG, AMG GTR for the road. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and we'll see what comes of all of that. Other than that, take care of yourselves. Hope you had a good time watching the video. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Would you take it in the orange or the silver? I'd take it in the orange personally. You know what I'm like with obnoxious colors on cars. Right guys, take care of yourselves. Wear your face mask, do the hand sanitizer, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys super soon. Bye.